Colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths in the United States. It usually affects men and women equally. 60% of colorectal cancer deaths can be prevented with a screening test. One in 20 people will be diagnosed with colorectal cancer. 25% of people diagnosed with colorectal cancer have family history of colon cancer. One in three people who need a screening test are not up to date with their screening test. A colonoscopy is a video exam of the entire large bowel. Typically, when we perform a colonoscopy, we are looking for colon polyps, which are precancerous lesions that can lead to colorectal cancer. Patients over age 50 are typically at risk of colorectal cancer. In addition, patients with personal history of inflammatory bowel disease, as in Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, are at an increased risk. Also, patients with personal or family history of colon cancer or colon polyps are at risk. And then, patients with familial adenomatous polyposis syndromes or Lynch syndrome may have increased risk of colorectal cancer. Typically, what I tell my patients in preparing for a colonoscopy is that seven days prior to the procedure that they stop taking iron pills, also to stop eating foods with small seeds. In addition, if they're taking blood thinners or insulin, to discuss that with their physician. The day prior to the procedure, which is the day before the colonoscopy, I ask my patients to be on clear liquids, and then the evening prior to the procedure, they will take a liquid-based laxative that causes them to have diarrhea, which cleans up their colon so that we can be able to identify small, small or flat polyps within the colon. During a colonoscopy, if we find abnormal growths within the lining of the colon called polyps, we have ways of removing those polyps and sending them to pathology. Usually, they're analyzed, and that information is very, very important because it's communicated to the patient, and that is how they're able to advise their family members as well. Typically, after a colonoscopy, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to recover from a colonoscopy. Usually, you will be loopy after the procedure. However, within 30 to 45 minutes, most patients are able to go home and be able to eat after the procedure. To get a colonoscopy, typically, your primary care physicians will refer you to a gastroenterologist and in most cases, patients do have alarming symptoms, including change in bowel habits, blood in the stool, or abdominal pain, uh, or weight loss that is not going away. Uh, in some cases, patients need screening because of their age, usually when they turn 50 years old. To get a direct access colonoscopy, Typically, we require patients that are generally healthy and do not have any chronic, any chronic conditions, including COPD, heart disease, hypertension, or diabetes. In addition, usually these patients are over 50 years old and do not have any uh, major alarming symptoms, including rectal bleeding, change in bowel habits, recent weight loss, or abdominal pain. To get a direct access colonoscopy, you can call 770-812-9097.